Who are you? Well, I'm Gianluca Matarese. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a film director, and I specialize myself in documentary. And now I'm working on a um, docu-series, a project of documentary in series, in episodes, about around uh, two artists, Casey Spooner, who is the frontman of Fisher Spooner, the group, and Vale Chachki, she's a performer, and drag queen, and artist. And I'm um, starting to follow them uh, as a duo. They are really interesting, both of them together, they are friends. They are not a couple, they are they're just friends. They have a generation gap, very important generation gap. It could be father and child, sis sisters, bigger sister and smaller sister, protege, protege and uh, maître. And sometimes they uh, exchange their roles. And if the thing I would like to explore with this documentary is actually the culture, image, image culture, the culture of image. Of representation it's a matter of fact the world we're living in uh, I'm not celebrating neither uh, um, criticizing a fashion world or show business it's really uh, a social commentary on the live with the world we live in where we have to build up personas when you're an artist working with image and this kind of uh, arts and how you struggle to keep up the persona, to feed the persona with the social medias and all the, the drama behind that. That could be also the moments you take the mask off, so all the doubts come out, all the fragile fragility. Um, and that's what, what the two protagonists are showing me, are giving me. They're being very generous. They have, they are, they have no, no shame at all. They give it, give it all to me. And that's really, that's really, I'm really, uh, I have the responsibility to, to make something good out of it because they've been so generous with me. Did you know Casey much before you? Uh, I knew him as an artist. He, live, he lives now in, uh, he, I just, I, I met him better once he moved to Paris. Just recently he moved to Paris. Now he wants to make Paris a base uh, in Rivier du Temple. I, I live right there. So I actually saw him with the progress. It's in the fashion show business world where we all live in. We just meet each other and talk and have projects. And I really identify myself into him because he's like he's always in a creative process, process of creation all the time. I am the same as, as he is, always creating. But you also need to have the confirmation, recon how do you say in English, recon reconnaissance. Yes, recognition. Recognition. It's really important because otherwise you're not making art for yourself. And this can become an obsession sometimes. And, and, uh, and Casey is telling this really clearly. He's, he's aware of these limits, telling all the time, I, I'm living in, in an illusion and trying to fit this, this illusion. It's tiring, but I have to do it. And at the same time, I like it. I like getting dressed. And... I like the show, this carnival, I like it, and I like it too. I have this, like, I'm like shared dichotomy in between these two things. Fascination of this world, at the same time it's also frightening. Because there's also a lot, a lot of loneliness behind that. And a lot of struggling. Casey is telling that really clearly. He's struggling with money and he has no shame telling that. But when you are out there, you have to look fabulous. You don't have to look you're in need. And when you're meeting someone and you need some, you need to work, he met like Daphne Guinness, like we should do something together. Or uh, uh, the CEO of Acne, oh, I should be in a campaign with you. He's trying to find like connections for work. And I do the same, we all do the same. But when you're there, you have to look fabulous. And this could be also very dark. It's not a, a very uh, lightning, um, positive, uh, commentary. It's also dark, but I don't like to be consensual. I don't like to say black or white, good or bad. I just wanted to show the reality with my look, and then you will judge or not. There will be people hating them. I'm, I, I'm aware of that. Saying this is so superficial, this is so vacuity. What is that? Get a job, get a fucking job. That could happen, of course. 
but at the same time, you, I actually, I, I get attached to them, and I understand. And Violet, she's 25 years old. She's 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 young. She's uh, a big. She has a big success now. She just said to me, "I'm young. I want to take advantage of this moment and don't ask myself too many questions." But at the same time, she's asking herself questions like, "What am I out of drag? Do I have power out of drag? I have a lot of power with my wig and my corset. Everybody loves me. But what happens when I'm out of drag?" And so she she. She's uh, really thankful for this persona, at the same time she's doubting and it will even get the point later when she'll be 30, maybe or 40, like Casey, or maybe she will be somewhere else. And I would love to follow this evolution. Great, thank you.